What's good guys? So Slime Green Beats, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to mix vocals with stock plugins. And there's two main principles that I want to reinforce when it comes to mixing. And that is number one, do not clip. And then number two, make sure you get your vocals in its own pocket of sound. In, in its own kind of like stereo area, if you will, um, using panorama. So first, not clipping, let's just talk about that. Um, Biggest thing with vocals is just make sure they're not clipping. Once they clip, it's going to sound horrible. And basically clipping is when the vocal or, or when the sound goes over zero dB in the, mixi in the mixer. Um, and there's a couple ways to tell where the, the um, sound is or what the dB level of the sound is. And... Um, but first, let's make sure that we put our vocal track in the mixer. I have all my vocals on the same mixer channel. Um, if you have ad-libs, maybe you'll put, the, put it in another ad-libs in one mixer channel, vocals another. Again, mixing can be very creative, so however you want to do that. But I'm, I have all my vocals in the same mixer channel. That's, that's fine. Um, and I have like a uh, kind of a chorus thing here, kind of layered over it, and then I got like a freestyle part. I'm not a rapper, you know, just note, I'm not a rapper, but uh, yeah, I just did that, so just to demonstrate. And um, yeah, so we have the vocal track in the mixer channel, mixer channel 10. We're making sure we don't clip. Pull up the fruity limiter. I think this is a great way to visually see, especially to tell if it's clipping or not. And this is the zero dB level right here. It's like this line is right at zero dB. So you can look at the vocals and see like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Is it anywhere near zero dB? No. So like, I typically will actually turn the vocals down. If you guys heard of gain staging, I kind of like use again, basically gain stage vocals too like there's no point would you not gain stage but if you're not unfamiliar with gain staging basically you want to turn the volume down before it goes into the mixer now my vocals aren't that loud to begin with so i don't necessarily need to in this situation um but yeah like you might want to turn your vocals down just so when you compress the vocals it doesn't clip basically again don't ever clip or don't even get close to clipping so i try to like not even go above 0.3 or really like maybe like 0.6 db but um you can tell what db level you're at here so minus 3 db actually that's good right there minus 0.6 db you just kind of want to leave room to make sure like the sound doesn't go over into the clip zone but like these kind of got to like eyeball it in, in here use your ears too but i like this tool because it's visual it's pretty accurate i would say to like where the sound waves are hitting um basically like again not to confuse you guys but just don't go over freaking zero db <laughs> like bottom line don't go over zero db um and i usually turn the fruity limiter off after i like check it i don't like the fruity limiter to be on um i just i don't, I don't like I, this is my personal preference but like um so basically yeah now we're gonna compress right um Multi-brand compressor has like a vocal compression preset and I'm for presets. I don't care what they say. I study UX. Presets are made for users to make things faster. So like don't feel like a noob just because you use a preset. Like it's totally okay. Um, this vocal preset works pretty well. Like you'll see like how much more clear it sounds now. Yeah. Just by doing that. Yeah. Uh, and then now again, let's let's see. Like, are we clipping now? Got no time for you. Yeah. Got no time for you. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Got no time for you. Yeah. Got no time for you. Versus not having it. And I got no time for it. trying to get the money quick. Let like time for it. I'll be trying to flow and this thing like I'm fly. And if it's still not loud enough, you can turn up the gain knob here. You don't have to use multi-brand compressor. There's a bunch of cool compression tools. A lot of cool things you can do. Um, and, and now let's get to the stereo separation. Let's, let's spend time talk, talking about rule number two for me, which is making sure you have the right stereo separation, making sure the sound is not competing with other sounds in the uh, field, if you will. Um, 
So like what I actually do is I move every sound out the way. So like when I send tracks to artists, they don't really have to like do this part because I feel like that could be confusing for for most vocal artists, um, you know. Um, so like basically to demonstrate separate like panorama or stereo separation, this is best done with computer speak with speakers like if you have monitor speakers it's best to like use that for this i'm using headphones for the sake of this video so i don't have like weird feedback but like um I got no time. basically this is mono this is like merged to the right this is like the entire master track this is like wider now okay so like that's like a demonstration you see i'm doing that for each sound. So like basically the melody has its own like area, 808 has its own area. So I'm just kind of like giving each sound its own location so you can hear each sound more clearly. So that's just like the whole point of that. And you know, vocals are no different, but you'll see I didn't do anything with the vocals because I moved everything else out the way. So, you know, if you, you might be in a different situation where you do want to move your vocals um depending on what beat you have so sometimes you might have to just use your ears like if you don't have the stems or like you don't know where the sound is separated i would just play with play with this knob until you feel like you you hear the vocals the most clearly so like in the same area like really just try to focus like is this competing with any other sound specifically um because like some beat makers use panorama more than others and and some pan way differently like i i do not like i'm sure like some people have kicks close and I, I like i said i've heard tracks on the radio etc that pan they all pan differently so like it's not like a one shoe fits all way to pan uh typically melodies would be wider but you know and like maybe kicks snares would be like t closer but like um basically yeah figure out the pocket of sound for your vocals I personally, like I said, I I let it, I make it easy for the rapper, but not everybody, I'm sure, does that. So that's just like a thing right there. And again, make sure you're not clipping, and then you will have like a better sound. Like that's just like very basic mixing. Now, and I got in terms of effects, I like using reverb. Now this is like again that creativity aspect. Only reason I use reverb is because I use reverb on a lot of other tracks or a lot of other uh, parts of my beat, rather. And um, so it matches well my beat. Now, that, that might not necessarily be the case for you, but uh, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, just to review, you know, just gonna, keep, just gonna keep this simple. Number one, freaking don't clip. You know, make sure, use the limiter to make sure you're not clipping, which I didn't do yet. And also make sure you're not clipping in the master track too. I already know I'm not because the way I set it up. But I get this man. Yeah, I said man. That's on my brand. Yeah, I shine. It's seven o two and feeling like the man. I could probably even turn the volume up a little bit. Um, I could probably turn it turn up just a tad. Man, what the but honestly, like I need to hear this on speakers. It's I'm, I'm using headphones, so like I apologize if, it, if it's not like perfect on speakers but like um yeah okay so yeah again yeah rule number one don't clip rule number two don't freaking uh, or pick this set pick a make sure you pick that pocket of sound so like i wouldn't what i wouldn't do is put it like what is this 12 i wouldn't put this at 12 because then it would be competing with this pad you know um like, I wouldn't put it at 17 because then it would be competing with this open hi-hat, right? Zero is fine for me, or just right in the middle is fine for me because, again, I moved everything else out of the way. So um, that's that's a big part of it, like, I would definitely say. And, uh, yeah, and then, you know, whatever effects. And hopefully, like, that will help you a lot. There's way more advanced vocal mixing techniques, like vocal mixing that's like fundamental, but like there's really, there's way more stuff to that, which I'll talk about eventually. Um, I am, I I will admit, like I'll be straight up honest, I am not an, a, I don't do recording engineering. Like I don't, I don't do that. I just make beats. 
Um, but like, <laughs> but like, this is what I do know about vocal mixing. Um, so, and definitely check out other other tutorial makers on this or whatever resource you have. Definitely look at that as well. Like I said, a lot of people mix differently, but I feel like when it comes to mixing, there's just certain fundamentals that need to be that are that like pretty much everyone does or like everyone should do that just kind of makes sense and they, these are those are just like two of those fundamentals so like there's more advanced stuff like really tweaking the sounds and taking out like higher pitches and then like you know balancing the the vocals a little bit better and, and yada 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 so um that's it for this video guys lying and beats thank you guys for watching as always yeah uh stay tuned for more videos y'all take care we got the uh, melody loop kit out in fact uh yeah hold on let me let me let me pull that up real quick Okay, so like hashtag, this is this is what's going down right here. This is slangingbeats.com. The site does not look like this. It looks way less trash than this. Um, I like uh, I I I use two fifty. Like I I up the the uh, resolution, or I guess lower it. I don't know, but like um, yeah, lower. I lower the resolution so like people can see the videos on mobile devices. Like the site does not look this weird. Um, but like I, I made the site myself. Yes, I, I do like internet marketing and like whatnot. So like, oh yeah, we got the loop kit out. Y'all cop, book out, cop, ebook out, cop. Definitely check that out, guys. Thank you guys for watching. As always, Slanger Beats. Peace out.